The unique role that I think IPPF gives me um, and my collaboration is I think the absolute reliance that the information that they give to me I can trust in the public, public domain, I can trust in the political domain and I can trust in the legislative uh, domain. The, there are certain things that sp spring to mind about how we worked very, very closely uh, to promote the fact that in 2015 we have to achieve the Millennium Development Goals that sexual health and reproductive rights are key and central to actually achieving the rest of the MDGs. And equally, here in the Parliament, when I've seen uh, and I witnessed it in, uh, in, in the first wave of enlargement, when uh, 10 new countries joined the EU some many years ago now, uh, and there was an attack on women's sexual health and reproductive rights. Um, and, and, and getting the information about that, getting the advice uh, uh, from IPPF was essential in building a coalition in the Parliament so that we not only protected women's rights, we actually enhanced and built upon them. The unique selling point of IPPF uh, is not only its history uh, and its commitment, uh, but it's proven track record that when you work with them, you get not only the support and the advice, but you, you get into a network, and it's a network that is not offered by really many other NGOs. And so therefore its unique selling point is that it represents beyond one country, it is international, uh, and I can sum it up in one word, or perhaps a phrase, you can totally trust it. And when you're in politics especially, uh, achieving change to public policies, uh, policies within the EU, changes to laws within the EU, uh, and to our policies in third countries, places like Africa, Caribbean and the Pacific, to rely on that trust and that engagement makes your life so much easier. Thank you.